afternoon, everyone. You've got me here in the kitchen again. Welcome. You've got Mary Burke live. Tonight is going to be hot sausage on the grill, but peppers and onions and squash boats. You've never had a squash boat? Well, I'm going to show you how to make a squash boat. Let's start with the squash boats. We gotta prep that. That's also gonna go on the grill. Thank you for joining me live. I am so happy that you're here with me tonight. It is a, a long weekend, and I hope that you are enjoying your long weekend. We're gonna break that seal, that break that wrapper. We're gonna lay out those squash, those big bulbous squashes. Uh, yes, at the base or at the stem, yes, I can get my hand around it. When you get up to the, the tip, it's very, very bulby. You can't get your hands around it. So, and the same thing, this one is thicker for longer. <laughs> so that one's the longest. And we have small, medium, and large. All the three different sizes there. Small, medium, and large. <laughs> yes, Stella's barking. Hey! Stella, no barking. Okay, no barking. Some of the guys are still around, so I'm cooking dinner at, for the workers. I do. Hey, shh. You want to come and say hi? Come here. Come here. Come here and say hi. Yes. Stella's here to say hi to everybody. Yeah. Did you eat the root today? I was planting a raspberry bush, and she ate the root. <laughs> so one raspberry bush down, right from the get-go. So she got in there and tore up that root. You were a bad girl. Yes, you were. You were a bad girl. Can you say, I'm sorry? I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do it. I know. All right, well, I'm going to put you down and wash my hands. There. Here's the bunkhouse. On this Memorial Day weekend, I hope you guys all have something yummy planned. <laughs> so, my yummy is that thick, hot Italian sausage. I did not do bratwurst, I did Italian sausage. And we're going to do the squash boats first. Because those, uh, the squash boat and the, um, the squash boat and the um, squash boats and the peppers and onions are going to take the longest. They're going to take longer to cook on the grill than the the uh, than the sausage itself. So thank you for your hearts. Thanks you. Thank you for joining me. So uh, I hope that you are going to enjoy this, uh, this uh, Memorial Day <laughs> feast that I'm going to make. All right, well, I need a knife. So let's get a knife. Let's go. What's with this knife? Let's get this knife here. That's my magnetic stand. I hope you like the magnetic stand. And what I'm going to do is we're going to snip the end of either side. Yes. So we are going to snip that end on either side, right there on both of them. And then we're going to toss the rest. There we go. And that one is good. Excellent. And now this end as well. I've got a bunch more to do. But this last one, here's the last one. It curves on the end. That one curved on the end. We don't need those. I'm also going to need a big spoon after I slice these down the middle. So now I have to try to slice this right down the middle to give me two even halves. So we're going to try and go right down through the middle. Go slow. Even pressure. Ah, and cut it. So you open it up and you see the inside and you see all the seeds. We are going to de-seed it. Stella, 
Lots of traffic going by. It's a quiet little road that I live on. But uh, during the Labor Day weekend, oops, there we go. What that got a little that got a little thin on me. I wasn't paying attention. And that one's got a little thicker. A little thicker stamp. Uh, but a lot of uh, other locals like to go by on their side bys of their four wheelers because the road that I live on is that live off of is a dirt road. So at least here in the country. So you've got me in the country today. There. We're gonna go slow with that. This one's kind of curved, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna make sure I get that. I'm gonna maybe do a V cut in there. There we go. Do a little V cut. So I can try to keep that on track. And keep it relatively, yeah, that one's not going to work the way I want it to. Let's lay it down and go that way. There. All right. Again, thank you for joining me. You've got Mary live. This is how you know you've got the right account for Mary because I'm your live. It's not number X. You've got the real Mary. There's a lot of fakes out there, so make sure you follow on the right one. And you've got Make It With Mary. So I'm so excited to be starting a new construction project. I don't know if I'll get into it this coming week. I'm hoping. But since it's a shorter week because of the holiday, it might not be till next week. But I have my new workout shed that's been delivered. And I'm anxious to get in there and get cranking on the design and actually bringing everything into, bringing life into the shell that it is. <laughs> All right, now I need a big spoon. So let's do a big spoon here. I don't need a slotted spoon, but I do need a big spoon. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna um, go around the edges and so I can get that seed. Uh, there's a lot of things that I like seeds in, but my squash bugs aren't one of them. So we're gonna take all that seed out. I'm gonna de-seed it, those seeds in the squash boat. And you can take that spoon and scoop it right out there. And if you've missed some, you can go back and dig a little deeper. There, I'm not keeping the seed. I'm gonna put the seed in the trash bin. Maybe Papa Pig would like some of the, the seeds. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. All right. So now you have a little boat. <laughs> There's your, it's scooped out in the middle. You have a little canoe. So it's a squash canoe. And you're going to do that with each and every one of them. So stay tuned while I scoop, scoop, scoop a doo. Scooby dooby. All right, so I hope you're enjoying your Memorial Day weekend. Hope you have nice, had a nice day. I worked in the, in the Outback and we, I'm still working with the wood. There's a lot that I still have the fallen trees or the trees that we took down and burning lots of the lumber. The, the pine is not gonna be uh, worth, uh, at least the scrubby stuff, I'm still trying to get it down to the pole. <laughs> uh, so we're taking off all the limbs and burning all the little limbs. There's nothing worth me keeping there. Whether or not I can get the nice straight poles and whether or not I can get it to a mill so that I can repurpose it still remains to be seen. But in the meantime, I am working with that wood on a daily basis. Yesterday, was also tidying up the chicken pen. The, we I revamped some of the area for the chicken pen. Thank you so much for the little crown that I just got. I am love when you guys give me gifts and hearts and everything. Thank you so much for joining me and being part of this journey with me. I want you all to join in. You all need to join and follow me So because we have lots of fun together. There's something to do every day. Today it was more woodwork. I did plant uh, raspberry bushes and blackberry bushes as well as scatter some uh, wildflower seed. That was a lot of fun, except for Stella being a bad girl. <laughs> Stella was bad. 
she went and ate the root of one of, one of my raspberry bushes. So I don't think that raspberry bush is going to survive. No, that one, she got right in there and tore the root out. All right. And believe it or not, it takes a minute to scoop out all that seed. This one is a deep seeder. <laughs> seeds went deep into the canoe and I'm still working to get those seeds out. Yeah, stop your growling. It's all right. Are you hungry? Uh, do you want a squash boat? Do you want a squash boat, Stella? And then she's quiet. She doesn't want, she doesn't want a squash boat. No, no. Do you want a tomato? You like the tomatoes. She likes tomatoes. She and Jeffrey, my tortoise, who's not with me here on the farm. The tortoise is down at the beach. Even though tortoises don't go in the water, it's at the beach. But um, she and Jeffrey fight over Jeffrey's morning lettuce and tomatoes. All right, you might have seen my TikToks. <laughs> he, he was trying to bite my toe one day because he thought that the nail polish was a nice uh, cherry or tomato or something red. Peppers, he often gets red peppers. And those are sweet treats for him. Uh, Jeffrey doesn't get a lot of sweet treats. It's mostly lettuce. But Stella usually beats him to the punch and then they have to fight over who gets, <laughs> who gets, the, who gets the, the good sweet stuff. All right, I am still scooping. Thank you for joining me. I am scooping out the squash boats at the moment. I'm making little canoes out of the squash. I'm taking the seed out in the middle. So you have a little scooped out area. And then I'm going to add tomato and salt, peppers, a little bit of garlic, garlic, my favorite dress, my favorite seasoning ever. I use it in everything. So, all right, I'm gonna scrape it a little bit more. I'm still seeing seeds. No seeds. No seeds. This one's deep too. All right. There. All right. And we're down to the last one. When I save the little one for last. <laughs> All right. Let's get in there. And score around the edge. And dip your spoon in. And yes, I'm lefty. For those of you that wonder, I am lefty. And, which is really, um, <laughs> I do a lot of things with both hands. You'll see, sometimes they're like, are you lefty or righty? Because I, with scissors, I cut righty. Uh, I do a lot of things righty, even though I'm a lefty. Uh, I think I just didn't like those scissors. <laughs> I didn't like the lefty scissors. So I taught myself how to cut righty. And I did do a little bit of damage to this hand when I flipped my RV. I don't know if you guys, and my RV, I didn't flip the RV, I flipped my side by. <laughs> when I flipped my side by a couple of weeks ago. So I did uh, do a little bit of damage, so it's been in a, in a wrist splint. Okay, so now you can see that I have scooped out, there you get it, scooped out. There we have squash boats or canoes, however you want to say it. This one's the deepest one. That one's the deepest. Right there. It's all scooped out. That one's scooped. They're all scooped. And you shouldn't be able to see. Oh, I can see a little seed. So we're going to. It won't be bad if you get a seed in it. I just prefer that you didn't. I don't want to get the seed. You can plant your own seeds. I don't want your seeds. In my, <laughs> I don't want the seeds in my squash boats. All right. So now I am going to do. How many do I have? I have six. Six squash boats. So we're going to do one. Four. They're already gone, 
sell five. And six. Ooh, that one's done. So let's start with the biggest one. Bella, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. They have to get through the guard dog first before they do that to the house. Her normal friends aren't here to play. Usually a couple of the workers <laughs> bring their dog, but she has extra dogs to play with. Yeah. But she hasn't had a playmate all day today, so she's been bugging me. Okay, so now I've got tin foil for each one of those, and then we're going to take a to tomato or two, and I have both a big tomato as well as my little Itty bitty tomatoes. The, the, the grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. Mm, very yummy. And oh, I showed you about. I have cherry, I have um, the little cherry tomatoes that are on the vine right now. I don't know if they have any ripe ones. Oh, I didn't check today. I have to check that. All right. Take the stem out. And I'm just going to slice it and dice it. Mm -hmm. When you take a hold of the knife, make sure that you grab the steel, not the handle, and you pinch the blade between your thumb and uh, index finger. That's going to give you the greatest amount of control over the knife. So you don't have your finger on the, on the tip of the top. It takes a minute to get used to, to doing that, but once you do it and you get uh, situated with it, you probably won't ever go back to it. Just making long cuts, and then I'll dice them. There. Thank you for joining me. You got married live while I'm making squash boats. And yes, summer squash is a uh, has always been a favorite of mine during the summertime. And I like to make squash boats with them. They have a nice tangy flavor to them. Just gotta go into the recycle bucket. I can't believe I forgot to check the tomatoes outside to see if I had, well, these are the oldest ones anyways, I guess. Use these ones up first before I go picking, before I go picking fresh tomatoes off my uh, tomato bush. I, I do have a tomato bush outside and it's already uh, blooming. It's already got some tomatoes on it. But last I checked, they were green. All right, so now I have I've diced up all that big tomato. So as you can see, there it is, ready for you. And we are going to just take a handful and scoop it right into our squash boat. We're going to fill it up. But we're not done yet. Oh no no. That's only part of that's only part of the squash boat. So stay tuned. We're gonna put more in there. I just don't know if I have enough with this one big tomato or whether I've gotta cut up some of my baby tomatoes. There. I think one is going to do it. Just filling it up. It's nice and juicy. There. Now I suppose if you if you don't like tomato, you could use something else. I'm not gonna put onion or anything in there. I am gonna top these off to make sure that I have each one of them has enough in it. There we go. Excellent. Oh, that little one could use a couple more. All right, now I'm gonna raise this up. I'll be right there. Don't go anywhere. This is, if you've been following me, you know that this is my workstation. This is my uh, core Klaus workstation. Oh, my four teenage chicks are walking <laughs> across the back. I can see them. All right, I'm keeping that handy because I'm going to need it again. I do need something to wipe it down with, though. There we go. We're going to wipe it down. We don't want it all drippy. <laughs> There. Now, let's grab 
to some softened butter. I'm I guess one of the cats was after the, <laughs> the chickens. All right. And that starts the garden off. There. All right. Now we need a little spoon. Let's get, I'll just use one of my plastic spoons. We're going to put a pat of butter, or a little bit of butter, just a little scoop on each one. <laughs> Stella, everything is fine. Everything, everything is fine, Joe. We're just scooping a little bit into the top. Hey, enough. That's enough. No more. She's a good girl, but sometimes she has to be told enough. No, oh, now that the dog started again. That, that means that one of the chickens or one of uh, the cats is for my guard dog, too. Guard dog doesn't take kindly. Stella, enough. No more. Be a good girl. Enough barking. Thank you for protecting the house, but we're good. If you want to protect me, you can go outside. You want to go outside? Hey, then I'm going to put you out. You want me to put you out? You want to go out? You want to go out? All right. Let's go out. I'll put her out. Come on. Let's go out. I'm going to bring it to the back door. Come on. Come on, Stella. There you go. Go out and play. Oh, that takes care of that. Now you go out there and walk if you want. See how that works for you. All right. Uh, Stella went out back. So now she can go play with the other animals. There we go. All right. We're on down to the last one. I'm putting some butter on. Yeah. So now I have six squash boats that have the, the uh, butter and the tomato. But we're not done yet. No, 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 we're not done. Let's get some garlic, some pepper, and a little bit of salt. Just a wee bit. Okay, and we're gonna sprinkle it. Can you sprinkle it just lightly? Whoa, good thing I love, because that was the first side. We don't wanna do that. Stella, stop chasing the chickens. It's always, it's always something around here. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit over the top there on each one. And then I'm going to grind a little bit. We're going to grind it. So I'm going to reach over towards you and we're going to grind. There, twist it and grind a little bit of pepper. There. And I just a dab of salt. I don't, I don't usually put salt on anything. So it's like a, I will always put a little bit more pepper than I will salt. I like it spicy, that's the way I like it. Ooh, what I didn't take out, oh, I don't have a jalapeno in my jalapenos. I had flour and jalapenos, but uh, Willow, who was another dog, uh, a puppy here at the, it was a rescue that's here on the farm. She got to my pepper plant. Stella got to my raspberries. Willow well, got to my, uh, well, got to my peppers. All right, now we're just gonna wrap it up. You can just fold it in half and twist it down and wrap it. Oh, no, we're not done. But wait, we're not done. I forgot my secret ingredient. A little bit of Parmesan on top. Some of that fresh grated parmesan right on top of it. There. Now, now you can see what it all looks like. It's got a little pat of butter, the tomato, and the <laughs> and the parmesan cheese. Now I can fold it in half and then crank it down. Twist it. Make sure that it's tight, and then pinch the ends. You don't want to make it so tight that uh, it 
that the cheese will stick to the top. You want to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of an air pocket at the top. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. We've got Mary Live as we're cooking tonight. Tonight is hot sausage on the grill along with squash boats. And we have just been prepping. And then we're going to do peppers and onions. And the, the squash boats probably have to go on the longest. I'm going to run these out to the grill in a second and put those on. So you're going to have to bear with me while I run outside for a second. And you're going to roll that paper, the, the um, Reynolds wrap down. And again, just so you can get a look at what that squash boat looks like before it's cooked. It, you've scooped out the middle, you've gotten rid of the seed, and added the tomato, parmesan, a little bit of garlic, garlic, pepper, and salt, and butter. Yes, a little pat, a little nice little pat of butter. Thank you for the hearts. I love when I get hearts and um, gifts. Okay, we're gonna, two more to go. There we go. And we're gonna pick that tomato up and make sure it's in the boat. Excellent. Now, squash boats are going to be ready to go on. I'm going to bring them out back, and then we're going to work on the peppers and the onions next. That one will be quick, and then we're going to skip to the dessert. We're going to start making, I'm going to make some chocolate brownies. I have a work crew coming in uh, tomorrow. They insisted they weren't done, and I told them they could have the day off, but they said that they wanted to come tomorrow, so... I have a work crew coming. I might as well treat them to some brownies. So, all right, that's ready to go out. So, I am going to bring this out. We're going to bring it. So, that's ready to go out. And I'm going to work on my peppers and onions, and I'll be right back. So, stay tuned. Hang in there. I'll be right there. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Oh, you want to come back in now, Miss Stella? Is that it? You want to come back in? All right, come back in. All right, you in, you out, you in, you out, you in, you out. Which one are you? Are you in or you out? You in or you out? No, Willow, you're out. Okay, and to go, I'm back. So, now, the squash boats are outside, and it's time to move on to the peppers and onions. So, I got a fry pack of peppers and onions, as well as I have a sweet Vidalia onion, as well as a, I do have a shallot left. Oh, wait, I might have a tiny little, let me look in the fridge. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute, put a little oomph in it. Back to cheerleading days. <laughs> No, I was not a cheerleader, but I used to coach the kids. So, in here from the other night, when I was doing salad and my easy chicken, I do have a couple of pieces of jalapeno left. So I'm gonna add the shallot and jalapeno to my peppers and onions. There we go. Uh, let's get going here. I like the tang of the when I'm doing peppers and onions, uh, and they, and I grill them on, uh, and I grill them, I like the bite of the green. It's not as sweet as the yellow or the red. So to me, green is the most tart, and then it's kind of a toss up as to which one of these peppers is uh, the is um, less sweet. Which one do you think is less sweet? Do you think the yellow is less sweet than the red, or that the red is less sweet than the yellow? Which one? I can't juggle. <laughs> I was thinking of juggling, but I can't juggle. You're lucky I can toss it from one hand to the other. <laughs> there. All right. Well, this one's bigger, so I'm going with the bigger one. Let's do the bigger green and the... Now, a new technique that I learned from Gordon Ramsay was not to cut it out and core it and de-seed the entire thing. What you really want to do 
is just slice it down, each one of the things, and take it off without disturbing the membrane. Now it seems like you lose a little bit in the translation, but when it comes right down to it, you've cored it, and the only thing that you're missing is this bottom, which I suppose you could pull off, right? That top is not really usable. So if you really want to pull off the bottom and pull off that membrane. But other than that, that is probably the easiest way to slice your peppers. And so we're gonna oops, move this a little bit this way so everybody can see what I'm doing. There. And now we're just gonna do the same thing with the yellow one. Again, you're grabbing the you're grabbing the metal, you're grabbing that steel, you're you're at the blade, but at the top of it, obviously not at the bottom, um, and don't wrap your finger around it. You do lead to just you want your your any finger that's is going to be on the handle, but your finger and thumb are on the top of the blade. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to slice it down. Ah, this was starting to grow another one on the inside. And we're going to chop it down again. Again, and each time that you do it, you get a nice big slice, leaving that membrane behind. So it, it really cuts down on having to core it and do, I'll do all sorts of stuff that I've always done it that way. So I'm really liking Gordon Ramsay's way of doing this. And so you got a little bit, you just got the little, you get the little butt little bottom piece. So I'm not sure that that's going to be enough um, pepper for me. Now I'm just going to slice them. That's easy. Easy peasy that way. There. Okay. Let's see. That is done. I'll tell you in a minute whether I think I've got enough. Probably not. I like a lot of pepper. I like a lot of pepper with mayonnaise. And my sausage. The, be the best part is the sausage. <laughs> All that meat sausage. Mm. Hot sausage, too. I'm not a mild sausage person. I know there's mild. God, I like it spicy. I don't know about you. I like it spicy. Thank you for joining me for dinner tonight. I hope you're happy with sausage, peppers, and onions, as well as squash boats. Oh, there we go. And almost done there. One more little slice. I guess I will have enough slices. I'll keep the bread for my, thing, for my um, salad tomorrow. I'm not having salad tonight. I said the other night when I was making easy chicken and salad, that I always have a salad with my dinners. And that is generally true, but when I'm grilling out like I am tonight, and there's so many vegetables already in the meal that I'm prepping, no need. Okay. Now I get a clear the top. I need more. Move the oil. Let's move that over to the side. Because now I gotta do all this. And there's a whole way that I'm supposed to do onions. This one I have not mastered or figured out. So I just cut it off. And we're going to peel the skin back. I'm probably going to take about half of this. So I'm just going to chop it right through the middle. Big, thick slice. There we go. I know there's a whole other way to do it. I haven't mastered it yet, so I'm not even going to pretend to try. Thank you. You've got Mary live. And we are playing in the kitchen with sausage, peppers, and onions, as well as uh, squash buds. And then I still have to make dessert. Oh, I should probably turn the oven on. But I'll do that when I get my... And these, I'm just going to do big, 
I did a thick cut, so they'll be smaller. Uh, um, they'll be smaller chunks, I guess, because I didn't do it the whole length of it. And there goes the the guard dog again. We're having lots of activity around here tonight. I think everybody found out where I am. Just kidding. All right. I'm excited that you're here in the bunkhouse with me. This is a mostly renovated uh, bunkhouse kitchen. The painting is done. So now really the last thing that has to happen in this kitchen, uh, the new lights are in up above, up above here. So the last thing really I have to do is trim out around the windows. So I do have some trim, but it's gonna require painting, pot, well not painting, but it's gonna be polyurethane. So I have to coat the wood because I'm going with a natural cedar around the, the around the windows as well as around the doors so that'll be um, to give it more of that homey country feeling there okay so now I'm going to break up all that onion so I don't have just huge chunks of onion in there I'm going to break it up and mix it in with And let's see here. Let me get down low. And here. <laughs> this is how you know you get the real Mary because you got me live. So you've got the right account. This is the correct account to follow. Make sure that you're following the real Mary. There's so many fakes and phonies out there. You want to make sure you get the real me. So, and these are on my approved platforms. If you have questions on where to find me, the best thing to do is go to my bio. My bio will tell you exactly how to find me and what platforms I'm on. So, there you go. And, oh, they were still stuck together. And they'll cook up really good, I'm sure. Now, now I'm going to put my onion, my peppers, And I had leftover shallot and jalapenos. And I'm gonna leave those long. So, so there's gonna be a bite. There's gonna be a kick in there. And I'm gonna just add those in so that I can be done with that. Excellent. There we go. Now I am also gonna take, let's spritz this out. That has the squash seeds in it. And then I'm going to take a big, this is going to be a big thing of butter. There. Big thing of butter. Right in the middle. Excellent. There it is. Big pat of butter. Now, we're going to do some, I'm going to grind. Oh, I need, I need a little bit more of the, uh, my hands are slippy. You need, you need a, it not to be slippy. Ooh, still slippy. There you go, because you want to get a good, you want a little bit of, of tension there. So we're just going to grind on that. Right there. Get that pepper going. There. Lots of pepper. Maybe some salt. And we'll do some more garlic. I told you. This is my, my go-to for anything. It's by Tastefully Simple. You can buy it online at tastefullysimple.com. Uh, or if you have a consultant, you can reach out to your consultant and get that. Yeah. They also make a wonderful beer bread. Sometimes I make beer bread from scratch, but if I can, I use theirs. All right, I need you a dab of, of oil, olive oil. So let me, and it's gonna be a, a garlic. that up and just a dab. A dab will do me. Ooh, that might have been a little bit more than a dab. <laughs> Oopsies. Pour that oil on there. Peppers, onions, oil. Ooh, I'm forgetting some onions. And now that 
same thing, roll it down, pinch your ends. That now, whoop, that didn't stay. But get beaten. Thank you for the heart. I love heart. Excuse me. I don't like the top of my mouth. Oh. This is now. It's going to join the squash boats outside. Along with my spicy hot sausage. But don't go anywhere. Because we still have to make our brownies. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. I'm just going to put this out at the grill. Ooh, can you guys see the pretty sunset behind me? The sky's getting all pink right behind me. It's so pretty here. thing to happen is I'm gonna take a little of the I just use a cooking spray spray the bottom coat it make sure it's got a nice even coat of oil on it the spoons are no longer necessary well I will need a spoon but I'm gonna need this type of spoon uh, I might want a slotted spoon Oops. Slotted spoon. And I'm going with Duncan Hines. We have uh, just Publix canola oil. Duncan Hines chewy fudgy. Fudgy chewy. Chewy, chewy and fudgy. I keep my toothpicks handy because the toothpicks I check how well how done they are. And then I'm gonna need a bowl, but I no longer need the cutting board. So the cutting board is gonna go on the drying board. Can't see that. That's why I love <laughs> that's why I love the sink, is because it has a built-in drying rack and I can put the cutting board, it's integrated, it all works together. Okay, so I need a big bowl. I need a slotted spoon. I need two eggs. Two eggs and these eggs and the reason they have numbers on them is because these are eggs that are from the farm these are farm to table I have several uh, hens that lay I have the teenagers that are not <coughs> excuse me are not old enough to lay yet <coughs> excuse me a little tickle in my throat um, but the hens are not uh, I two uh, I have a few hens in the flock that are, are of laying age. And then I have four teenagers that aren't quite there yet. They need about another four weeks or so. And then they're gonna start laying eggs as well. But I need two eggs right now. And when you get them farm fresh, if you leave them at room temperature, they're good for two weeks. Bet you didn't know that. <laughs> and if you uh, refrigerate them they're good for up to three months so when you get it in the store and you see the dates on them but that's you know how fresh your eggs are because they're good from the time that they are 
uh, <laughs> by the time that they're laid, then you have, if they're refrigerated immediately, then they're up good for up to three months. Now, uh, they lay, during laying season, they, they'll lay about once a day. And so, uh, I, they, every day I go out and I have fresh eggs. So, and then I have six brand new chicks that aren't even close to being laying age. They're just getting their second, uh, they have, they're getting rid of their fluff and they're now starting to get their intermediate wings. So, and the teenagers, they've got their, their second wings and they're getting, it's close to time to clip them, to clip the wings. They'll still be able to hop, they just won't be able to fly so well. Thank you for my little crown in my, in my hearts. I love when I get, I get gifts. I love when you guys send me gifts. Um, let's make some brownies, shall we? All right, so first off, we open the box. We've turned on the oven. I have greased the pan. And actually, even though I spray it on there, I do like to rub it in. So I, I'm out of paper towels. Excellent. So I have more. Don't worry. There. I do like to smear it or rub it all in. So again, you can miss areas when you just spray it on, but if you rub it in, you know you get full coverage. And now we're going to open the container. We've preheated. We're going to stir together our brownie mix, oil, eggs, and three tablespoons of water. So, and I'm going to put the brownie mix in first. And I'm going to do it by hand. It's all going to be manual, guys. It's going to be manual. I'm not going to use a mixer. It's going to be manually stirred. What I do like to do, hold on. Let me go off screen for a second. I'm going to talk to you. What I do like to do is I do not like to crack my eggs into the, into the bowl. Because if I, if I crack it in there and I get a shell, I can't get at it. I'm going to have lost it in the, in the mix. Literally, in the mix. So I take a little rampkin um, bowl and I crack it over the edge there and voila. And if there is a little piece of that, oh, oops, I'll get that later. See, so I did get a little tiny bit in there, but now I can take that shell, it sticks to the shell and I can scoop it out. So that's good. And then I have one more. Let's put that in the trash. Again, that's all going to pop a pig, pop a pig, blah, 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 stuff. And I don't need a knife anymore. There we go. And let's put that one. See how big the egg is when you get it from the big egg? Oops, I'm losing some of the juice. There. I spilled some of the juice. But that's a big local egg. Brown eggs are local eggs, and local eggs are fresh. Again, that's something else that I grew up with. So the look, it was a, um, that one had a little more shell. So I'm just picking out that shell, make sure I got it. Ooh, ooh, that one had a lot of shell in it. Let's get the shell out. Let's get the shell out of it, shall we? Voila! I was able to get the shell. Now the shell is out. Put that over there and that in the trash. And we're going to dump the egg in the mix. I'm going to wipe that down right now. I'm not one that likes to keep that stuff around. So I am going to fix that right now. Let's get another roll. Those are my drawers that I drilled. You might have seen that in the live. 
I drilled my drawers. <laughs> Doors and drawers. Ooh, that's extra gooey. Extra gooey. Get a little bit more. Now we know that my oven is hot and ready to take on brownie mix. There. Okay, that is also trash. Put that out of the way and put this on. A roll there. Okay, so where was I? We need, oh, how much oil do I need? Two thirds of a cup of oil. I do not have a liquid, so we're gonna go with this. And this is a new one, I believe. So I will have to pop the top and peel back. The, now I need that knife again. No, I got it, I got it. Thanks for joining me live. We're on to the dessert portion while our sausage, peppers, and squash boats cook. And we're making brownies for dessert for all the workers that come tomorrow. I do have a crew that's planning to come in. Look at the sky behind me. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that, but that is absolutely stunning. Right behind me, I'm gonna twist and just just a little bit. See if you can get all those colors in the sky. That is just beautiful back there. It is absolutely amazing sunset. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back with you. All right, now we're gonna pour two thirds of a cup of oil. That's it. And three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of water. When that is done. And then tablespoons. We got one. Stop there barking. Okay, now we can stir. According to the directions, it's going to take 50 strokes. Are you going to count with me? How many strokes does it take for me to get it smooth? Hey! Enough! Eh. Enough, Stella. Ooh, no? Just because other dogs are barking. Do you want to go back out? Does Stella want to go back out? The good girl. No need. <coughs> Miss Stella. Yes, you. Yes, you, Miss Stella. No theatrics, please. <coughs> no theatrics. You want to go out? Let's go. Go, 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 go. Go investigate. Go investigate. See what it is. Stella wants to be a guard dog. So we're now we're going to stir it. There we go. Uh, how many stirs have I got? Let's stir this all up. Come on. Stay with me as I stir. There. We're going to mess it. It's messy. It's messy. And I'm going to stir it both ways. We're going to stir it both ways. Make sure that we get even coverage, get all the dry spots. We want it all wet and gooey. Yes, even the part down the bottom. <laughs> We've got to make sure that it gets all stirred. So we don't want any cakey parts. No cakey parts. No. And I used a small thing. I'm used to cooking for a crew, but since I only have a few people coming tomorrow, I am not making a big batch. Uh, oftentimes I do three or four of these at a time. So, yeah, we're going to get right in there. I know that's pretty funny because the bottom is stirring too. But let's get down that bottom. How, what what stir am I at? Can anybody tell me? 
How many strokes have I given it so far? Come on, how many strokes have I given it? Have I given it enough strokes? Is it smooth enough? Is it, is it uh, all blended? All mixed and blended good? There we go. And nice and drippy. There, nice. That's looking nice. I'm liking the texture. Very nice. All right, now it's time to pour it right in our pan. Let's get that in there. Ooh. Come on. Get it in there. Look a good spot. There we go. Scrape it all out. I was always one of those ones that loved when the, there was the leftover part. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta taste the leftover part. It's so yummy. Yep, the part that didn't fit in the pan. Oop, I had a little dribble outside. <laughs> little dribbled outside the pan. And we're just gonna keep scraping it. Let's just keep, keep on keeping on. See if I can get as much of it out and into the pan as possible. There. Now, I could have used a big spatula, too, to get that in there. All right, now I need to spread it in the, in the bowl. Come on. A little bit more to drip in there. Come on, drip down. You can do it. Drip down and get in the bowl. There we go. Okay. All right. There. I think that's going to be good. Lick it off the edge. That'll burn. We don't want it to burn. All right. And just make sure it gets in the corners. And now it is ready to go in the oven. So let's see. Let's put it in the oven at 325. How long are we cooking it for? It says we are cooking it for. So I'd say 42 minutes. Wow, that's a long time. It's a long time to cook. We'll see. <laughs> we'll put it on for 40 and see how it goes. Let's do timer. Oh, cook time. No. Get that cook. Uh, let's do 40 minutes. It's a relatively new oven for me, so I'm still learning all the idiosyncrasies of it. And I did have a big, oh, just right about there. All right. Big chocolate gob. Right there. Let's clean that up. There we go. All right. Then let's put this stuff in the trash. And I'm still waiting on the peppers, onions, sausage. I should go check on them. They should be about done. So we have the brownies in the oven. They're cooking. The sausage, peppers, and onions is cooking. And, um, let's see. Oops, yeah, I dropped. I knew, remember I said I dropped that shell? I got it. I found the show. Alright, now this one can go right there. Do a little bit of clean up. I know I saved the clean up for later, but you guys get to be here for the clean up today. Where did my dong go? I think they took the dawn out to go <laughs> wash the grill. So I guess it's Clark's wipes for now, which is not what I usually use to wipe down my, um, my butcher block. I usually use soap and water, and then at least once a week, I put a oil on it, and then once a month, I put a wax, a nice wax on it. So 
Um, once a week, I use, that's the wax. So once a week, I use a cutting board oil on the entire surface. And then about once a month, I use the wax on it as well to make sure that the butcher block keeps its shine and its um, resiliency or what have you. It keeps its integrity. And, uh, I have to stick my finger in and get another wipe out. Normally, I, again, I usually just wipe it down with uh, hot uh, water and soap. But I want to make sure that I get all the stuff that I've been prepping off of the thing here. Okay, so I've only got one little lonely egg bet in this six pack, but I'm gonna put it back in the refrigerator. So did you learn how how long? Let me tell, let me quiz you. How long can you keep a fresh egg? That is not refrigerated. How long can you keep it? Do you remember what I told you? Do you remember what I told you? How long can you keep a fresh egg that has not been refrigerated? Right from the, come on. Thanks for joining in. If you're new to just joining in, you've caught me as the sausage, peppers, onions, squash boats are all cooking, and now the brownies are in the oven baking. So I was asking, I used uh, five days. Uh, good crust, but um, fresh from the farm, eggs, if the freshly laid eggs, if you collect them every day and you keep them in an egg crate on the countertop, they are good for two weeks unrefrigerated. However, if you refrigerate them, thank you for the heart over my head and the crown, I love that. However, if you do decide to refrigerate them, they are good for three months. So that's why when you see the date on the, the eggs that you get at the store, that's that it takes into account that they are good for three months. So. It gives you an idea of how fresh your eggs are that you're getting. So, for instance, the eggs that I used today were from 5-9. So, they were from a couple of weeks ago, but I have them in the fridge. So, they would be good 6-9, um, 7-9 through August. So, they would be good through August 8th if I, if I really wanted to keep them in the fridge for that long. I don't... I use eggs frequently, so it works out well. I don't have a lot of hens that are laying eggs, so I'm not inundated with them, but it's a, it's a good amount. And I have several dozen that are, in the, that are in the refrigerator, but they get utilized. They get utilized in my cooking. Sometimes I'll give, if I have a surplus of them, I'll treat the dogs and help them have a shiny coat. I'll treat the dogs to, to eggs as well. Thank you so much for joining in. You've got Mary live, and I'm waiting now for my sausage, peppers, onions, and squash boats to be done so I can show you as well as my, um, as well as the brownies that are cooking. And I do appreciate you. I hope that you follow me. There's always something fun happening here at the farm and at the farmhouse. You've got, there's so many projects that are going on here in the bunkhouse. You can see that um, I've done, uh, most of the kitchen has been completed. Still have to trim out the windows and still have to do the baseboards. But other than that, the kitchen is finalized. The cabinets are in, the shelves are up. The countertops are in, the cabinets have been replaced, the island was painted, the floor has been replaced, subflooring has been worked on because there was some subfloor damage. So, and you've been here for it all. Uh, all of my uh, TikToks, Instagrams, YouTubes, they all have uh, past uh, reels of me, uh, new windows, everything, new appliances. So. 
everything has been rehabbed here in the bunkhouse kitchen and I thank you all for following me and helping me to make videos go viral like when I had the manual powered gate that uh, we powered up so that was one that right here if you've been following me for a long time then you might have remembered here on the farm a few years ago I made a video that was the rain barrel water system and it's a 55 gallon plastic drum that I straddled and plunge cut with a hole saw so that I could put a spigot with a bulkhead on the bottom of it and cut a hole in the top and then I did a magic trick where I feathered down or put it on a string, the bulkhead, and brought it down to the hole in the bottom. You only come up a couple of inches from the bottom and then you slide the bulkhead through the hole, you, throw, you hold it and then you, it, uh, from the outside to holding it on the inside, screw the bulkhead on it and then you can turn your spigot on the top. And then I put mesh on the top and um, a, a band around it so that the rainwater could come in, collect and uh, use a, a hose on that. So you have natural water collection to use around the farm, whether it be um, watering your plants or giving, uh, in my case, I was giving water to Papa Pig and the, uh, and the goats that we have at that time. The goats are no, uh, have been uh, given to another farm, so I don't have the goats anymore. <laughs> what? Can you hear the kitty? Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I have a new kitten. Yes, it's the last kitten of the last litter. <laughs> Come here. Where are you at? Come here. Let me see you. Where are you crying from? Oh, you were stuck on the couch? Yes. Here we go. I've got you. I've got you. This is the very last kitten. Yes, that's the last pussy cat. What's up, pussy cat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. There we go. She woke up. <laughs> yeah. She's actually an itty bitty little thing. She looks a lot longer right there than she really is. She was just tiny. What are you doing? You hiding in my arm? There. Actually, I believe it's a he. So, this he will be fixed. Yeah. You're not adding to the population around here. We're trying to get that population of kitty cats down. There was a big population of kitty cats here. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. I'm gonna put you down. You ready? There, now go play. Go get your num nums. Your num nums are down there. She's got her own separate uh, area to eat to make sure that Stella doesn't eat her treats. <sighs> Thank you for joining me. You got married live. And you know that you've got the right account. This is the account to follow. Make sure, oh, thank you for the gifts. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. And the hearts. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, happy Memorial Day weekend to everybody. Uh, this was uh, a growing up. This was a weekend that I spent, my family would spend going to the graves and uh, making sure that we put fresh flowers in all the graves of the veterans who had served and had passed and to take a day and remember them, hence Memorial Day. So thank, thank those that had bravely fought for us so that we are the, <laughs> the home of uh, land of the free and home of the brave, or however the saying goes. <laughs> Just, it, I know it, it just escaped me for whatever reason. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, yeah, someone just asked if I'm, I'm married. Yes, I have been married uh, to the same person for the last 30 years. We have uh, children, uh, grown children together. This is uh, the, at the farmhouse here. We have uh, pigs, dogs, cats. Chickens. Uh, I have. There's wild coyotes in the back. Sometimes I hear the coyotes or coyotes at night. Um, but uh, what else? We used to have ducks. Uh, the ducks were, were wet ducks, but I didn't have any pond. So 
pecking stuffs like water and uh, it was hard for me to keep them in water so I made sure that a local farm uh, benefited from that by getting the ducks so that they can now swim freely. <laughs> um, the goats were also given to a local farm that was going to utilize those goats for uh, soaps and and, um, and uh, goat cheese and goat milk. But, but some of the projects that I have com that have been completed around the property, uh, the bunkhouse here is, as you can see, mostly done in this area in the kitchen. If you've been like if you've been following me, you know that it's been a struggle. <laughs> it's been a struggle to get it going. And then um, after that, there is the pole barn. I used that heart and the little crown on top. I love it. Thank you so much. The I, I will wave to everybody that is sending out messages and joining in. Thank you for joining me live. Um, the pole barn is uh, complete in the sense that the crush and run, or crush and run, depending on where you are and how you, how you, where, what you, that is. Uh, I did not concrete it. Concrete is extremely expensive around here. So I went with the crush and run. It's a mixture of uh, concrete, uh, dust, dirt, sand, gravel. It's all in there and it gets very hard packed. I didn't want the clay here in Alabama. The clay uh, gets very sloppy when it gets wet. So try to make sure that even when it gets wet, you have a hard surface you know, to drive on and over. So that was uh, taken from the, we had, oh boy, the first, I had four loads just to do the driveway. But then when I added the pole barn, I added another five loads, truck loads, after truck loads, after truck loads, dumpster after dumpster after dumpster, <laughs> truck loads of crush and run, just to make the pad to go underneath the pole barn and connect from the pole barn to the, the driveway. And you might have seen me when they put the pole barn up, somebody left a strap behind. So I climbed up on the and did a tar sand uh, uh, thing. Uh, I'm sorry, the kid in me just comes out. I am going, <laughs> if you leave it out, I'm going to play with it. That's just the way it goes. So they left stuff behind and I am going to play with it. Um, then, uh, so that's up. The utilities have already been run out there. So there's water, sewer, electric, uh, and uh, cable out there. The cable uh, ran cat five so that I could do a wireless connection out there. And the RV is up and functioning. So that is good news. And it also, the pole barn houses the side by the um, four wheeler. Uh, it has a huge trailer underneath it right now because part uh, we've built off of the, the pole barn on one side and added a lean to and a garage and that garage is going to be for the Jaguar so my Jaguar sits under that and that part is still getting it has a roof over it and has a wall so it's getting there but I still have to finish the walls the electricity it's going to have a thermostat and a uh, vent in it so it doesn't get too hot it doesn't get too cold uh, an inside door uh, barn doors on the front and Stay tuned because that's still that project is still in the works. On the other side, there will be expansion. There will be another lean to on the other side. There's also going to be a privacy uh, porch, or not porch patio, covered patio, a privacy covered patio behind the garage that will be for guests staying at the RV. So a little quiet nook for everybody to get away to. Maybe I'll put a hot tub back there. Hmm. That might be a nice place to put that. Anyways, <laughs> I digress. Um, the other side will have a lean-to from front to back, and uh, that runs 60 feet of that pole barn. So, and that side will have more 
because that looks out on the property. So that'll have more uh, gamey type stuff. It'll be a game room, an outdoor kitchen, and all of that yet to come. The workout shed has been delivered and that is in the initial stages. It is just the shell. Uh, it has two windows, a door, and studded out on the inside with a, a subfloor on it. But I have to come in and give all the finishing touches, run the electricity, run the plumbing. It is going to have an indoor bathroom as well as an outdoor shower. So for the workout room. And a deck up on the front. So that if it's nice out, I can work out inside or I can work out outside. And that'll free up another room in the bunkhouse for another guest room. So lots of stuff. There's lots of stuff for you to stay tuned to, to subscribe to, so that you can be in the beginning, be there from the start to finish and see the projects as they, as they come about. Um, everything from drilling the drawers uh, on each one of the drawers, if the top drawers had to, either the face had to come off and countersink those to put the handles on, or whether I could just get in and drill right into the actual uh, door. So all sorts of stuff, uh, lots of tips, trip, tricks, hacks, uh, and mistakes along the way. So I appreciate you joining me. I am gonna go check on the food. So hang in there. Let me see what the status of the food is because I'd like to show you the food before I sit down to eat it. <laughs> so, because you, you sat here and you watched me prep it all. Now, let's see how we're doing. Hang on. And we still have 21 minutes. There is still 21 minutes to go on the uh, on the brownies. So hang in. Let me see where we're at. When I, I couldn't smell the brownies when I was here, but I can smell the brownies when I went outside and, um, and coming back in. So, uh, now, if you have questions for me, this, I guess, is the best time to get your questions answered. All right. So, if you have questions, now's your chance or forever hold your peace. Oh, I got to put those back over here. I will check the screen in a second. This has to go back in the drawer. This has to go in the, in the drawer down here. Oh, that one's not tall enough. That's why I have it in the pantry over there. Put my, oh, I see you over there. Okay, shallots can go back. The butter, can, well, I'll leave the butter out because you never know. Might need more butter. Tomatoes can go back. Parmesan cheese, shallots, all that can go back. All right. My pepper, my red pepper can go back. Excellent. All right. And I'm back again. Oh, my cleaning supplies can go back. I can go in the sink. Back. You want to play? Kitty, you want to play with it? Yeah. Kitty. Oh, kitty. <laughs> she doesn't know what to make of them. I don't ever let her up here. I don't want her to get used to it, actually. No? Hi, Stella. Are you going to be nice to Kitty? Come here. You want to be nice to Kitty? You, you be good girl. You be good girl to Kitty, okay? Be good mama. All right, I am back. And I think I am ready for questions. If you have a question, 
Oh, well, I have to be in English. <laughs> I, can't, I can't read questions that aren't in English. So, let me know if you have any questions. In English. Questions in English. Thank you so much for joining, Mary. You've got me live. Oh, someone asked my age. Well, that's not nice to ask a lady her age. But I can tell you this, I am in the Fantastic 50s Club. That's as close to getting an age from me that you'll get. There. Any other questions? I'm going to double check on that sausage. I was told it was going to be ready in five. No, I'm, not, I'm not in the 60s club, I'm only in the 50s club. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining. And if you have any questions about where to find me, the best thing to do is check out my profile because that'll tell you exactly what platforms I'm on, what are approved, and if it's not on the list, yeah, then it's then it's it's no bueno because <laughs> there's a lot of fakes out there and there's a lot of I you know I don't take cash app or Venmo or anything like that so anybody that I know a lot of people that uh, tell me that uh, I get lots of things that will reach out to me and say hey you just uh, sent me a message on whatever asking for me to friend you no I didn't no I didn't it was not me. So you got to be careful out there because there's a lot of fakes and they will take your money. So um, somebody asked what state I'm in. That's a very good question. Currently, I am in the state of Alabama. Uh, and I also, the, uh, my, the farm is in Alabama and the beach house is in Florida. So I am fortunate enough to have both the beach house and the uh, farm in Alabama. That was a great question. Thank you for asking. So if you have another question, you're welcome to go ahead and ask. If I can answer it, I will. If not, you're going to have to check my bio for those answers. <laughs> I am married. I have been married to the same wonderful man for the last 30 years. It's, uh, again, very fortunate. So any more questions? You can. You, this is your opportunity. You got married live. I can. I can answer. I can answer your question. Oh, I got a lot of hellos. Hello, everybody. Where in the world are you from? Like I said, I'm in Alabama. So where are you all from? Or are you supposed to say y'all? In Alabama, where are y'all from? <laughs> You both somebody um, said that they're married to and both he and his wife love my content I, I appreciate that I, I do get I do get some couples that really like my content so uh, I uh, a lot of women are Karen's but I appreciate the ones that are not and can understand my sense of humor and my content it is out there to entertain each and every one of you so and if I'm not for everybody. If, I, if you don't like it, I'm not offended by it. Just keep scrolling. You just don't have to be a troll. That's all. <laughs> right? Life's too short. Gotta move on. I don't, and I don't give in to the negativity, guys. Just so you know that. I don't, I don't do that. So, any other questions? You like my, uh, you're my, you like my other profiles as well? Not my other profiles, but my other platforms as well. Thank you. I appreciate that you follow me on multiple platforms. Uh, <coughs> oops.
I'll be right back. Come here, Stella. Come here, Stella. Come here, Stella. That's it. Come. I, I, I. Yep. No. No. She was a bad girl today. She ate the root of my raspberry. Of my raspberry bush. You did. Yes, you did. Thank you for the kisses. Thank you for the kisses. No, you may not get down. No, if you're going to bark, you're not going to get down and go bark. No, nope, there's no reason to bark. No reason at all to bark. Mm -mm. It's a nice night out. The sunset. It was a beautiful sunset. If you were here for the sunset, you got to see it right through my window. <laughs> so, are you a good girl, Stella? Are you a good girl or are you a bad girl? Mommy's not happy with you. No. Mommy's not happy with you because, yeah, no barking. No barking. No, no, no barking. No barking. No barking. Uh -uh. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. But yeah, now she's, now she's like, I'm tired. Put me down. I'll go sleepy. No, she wants to run to the window and start barking again. No, I don't. No, you can't do that. No barking. No barking. Mm -mm. Good girl. Would you like a treat? Would you like a treat? Should I get you a treat? How many minutes do we have left on our... 11 minutes. Oh, 11 minutes on the brownies. Oh, I want to... I want to... I can't wait. I want to look at the brownies. I want to see what they look like. Yes, but if I open the door, then... I, I don't want to add time. I want to eat the brownies. I want to eat the brownies. I want dessert before dinner. Can I have dessert before dinner? No? I have to eat all my vegetables first? Okay. I guess I have to eat all my vegetables first. Okay, Stella, I'm going to put you down. No barking. Promise me. Promise me you'll be a good girl. Play with the kitty. <laughs> the kitty's right behind me, too. So, thank you for joining me. Thanks for uh, joining in and um, you've got Mary live. If you don't follow me, you should follow me. There's always something happening here at the farm or in my travels. Cause sometimes uh, if you've seen recently, I did do some traveling. I, had, I was fortunate enough to take a trip to Puerto Rico and then I was down at, uh, in the beach area. I did, went down to Florida and went to a couple of locations, but that was as a result of me flipping my uh, side by. <laughs> I had a little bit too much fun on Mother's Day. I did a live in the morning where we made Mother's Day flower baskets. Thank you for the roses. I love roses. Five. Five roses. Thank you. I um, And we made flower boxes. Something that you can do uh, with, your, with your mom so that she has something to remember you with all summer long, even if you only got to see her for that day. Um, <laughs> and then the uh, later in the day, I went out four-wheeling and I took the side by and I hit an extremely hard patch while I was turning and it flipped. So that was not fun because the rest of the day was spent at the emergency room, but I luckily I was able to walk away and uh, only <laughs> with some minor, well, major bruising. It was me. Um, and in fact, one of my arms is still pretty bruised. Uh, and the, uh, and my wrist is a little, I have, I'm supposed to be wearing a brace on one of my wrists. But, <laughs> All in all, I was able to walk away, no broken bones. So that's that's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And it was still a fun day for wheeling. Thanks again for joining in. And I really do have to... <laughs> yes, uh, I do have a lot of the work is that you've seen in your uh, reels, shorts, and TikToks. A lot of the, the information, a lot of the stuff that you've seen, 
that is right here. If you're in the completed or almost completed project, I can't say completely completed because I still have to do the trim work around the windows, which will be a cedar. I'm going with a rustic cedar trim around the windows and doors. So stay tuned for that because I'll be back cutting it, measuring it, cutting it, polyurethaning it, and then nailing it. Yeah, I do have my DeWalt uh, finish nailer, so I will be able to use that to finish up the project. So stay tuned on that one. All right, now it's got to be time for me to go check and get the um, to go get the sausage and the squash boots. So let me go get them and just stay there, hang up. I will be right back. Stella, will you keep everybody company? No barking. Will you keep everybody company while I go get the squash boots? I want everybody to see the finished squash boots and the uh, peppers and onion. Oh, I gotta bring out the buns. Gotta gotta brown the buns. So. Let me go brown those bones and I'll be right back. But I'm going to go out a different door this time. <laughs> it is around the back, but it's just one way or the other way. So let me go. I'll be right back, guys. Let me, let me go out there. Sausage is going to be down the bottom, and we're going to open up one of the squash boats so you can have a look at it, and then I'll plate it for you. Do you like, uh, I'm going to have hot mustard, hot mustard with my sausage as well. So here is the finished squash boat, right there, ready for you, and peppers and onions. So let me get a couple of plates, and I'll be right back. Uh, be nice, play nice, Stella. You've got to play nice. Right. Let's put these out, shall we? So, and they tend to be a little bit juicy. So we're going to put... Huh? I'm going to get a fork. Let's use one of the plastic forks. And Bronx is still at it. The, the guard dog is still at their bar. So there's one. We have some sausage. There's my sausage. And we're going to take the peppers and onions and put it over the top. There we go. Some peppers and onions. And we are, there you go. There's, there's yours. Now I do have rolls. Would you like yours in a bun? And do you want mustard with it? It's entirely up to you. There's your squash boat, your sausage, pepper, and onions. Ah, I'm going to make a second plate. And... I want you all to have a good night. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. You'll have to check back with me in, oh, we only got three minutes left for the brownies. Let me double check on the brownies. Let's turn that light on. Let's turn that light on and see how we're doing. Oh, they're looking done to me. So
So I'm gonna pull it out a little bit early because, and then put a toothpick in it to see if they're done. Because otherwise the, the ends get too, too hard. So let's double check. And here are our fudgy, fudgy brownies. If I stick it in and it comes out clean, we're good. And it is clean. So now I'm really done. I have to let that cool for 20 minutes before I can cut them. So I'm going to put that on top and we're all done. Thank you so much for joining me for dinner. I grab a plate and let's eat. Bye now. Have a great night. And follow me so that you know the next time that I'm going to be live. We'll have a great time together, I promise.